If you want to make Minecraft videos in 2023, you need to understand the Replay Mod. Now, the Replay Mod is a cinematic add-on, a modification to the Minecraft game where you can make cinematic time lapses based on the builds that you've put in game. One thing that is often underutilized in the Replay Mod is using cinematic clips to just give a little bit of extra energy to your videos. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to hit escape and I'm going to hit start recording and I'm going to have this play for about 30 seconds or so. I'm just going to hang out right here, maybe wave my hand a little bit if it would let me with these torches and then we will hop into the replay mod and get crackalackin'. So when we first load up our replay mod footage, you're going to see a two timelines at the top of our screen and then you're going to see a third person view of our whole landscape right here. If you hit B, you can then go to your player right here and using the F5 key, you can control which player perspective you have. What I do is I always go to first person perspective and then what you want to do to get out of there is you hit shift right here. And from here on, I can go anywhere that I want to. A couple important things to say right here is that right here we have our position keyframe. If I put this down right here, this is where the camera is going to show at this point of time in the timeline. And then if I add my time keyframe right here, it'll set a time frame for when this position will show at this point in the timeline. So what that means is if I put a position and a time keyframe right here, and then let's say I unpause the timeline by hitting P right here, wait a couple seconds, I move my camera by hitting escape and then turning it, I hit T to get back into the screen where the camera freezes, I can add a new position keyframe, a new time keyframe, and then when I slide my cursor back here, and play the camera path from the cursor position, you can see a nice smooth cinematic replay mod. So if we wanted to start off from farther away and then work ourselves in towards our house right here, we can do that. We can just set ourselves a time and position keyframe right here. And then of course, we can go all the way down here. And if we just start the timeline for half a second right here, we can add another position and time keyframe and you'll notice this is gonna be very weird when we play this back, but it'll be super quick. We don't really want that either. So we're gonna clear it once again. We'll add two new keyframes right here. And then the important thing to do is that when you hit unpause right here, you want to immediately start going in just so that the camera follows the timeline and doing so will allow us to add our position and time keyframes in a way that keeps time consistency. There's no slow motion, and there's no sped up motion here. And we can see that nice smoothly, slowly, in time, as we come back down here. So that's all good and dandy, that's a good basic. But what if we wanna add a little bit more flair to this replay mod cinematic right here? Well, what we can do, if we head back in here, I can hit pause at this point in the timeline, and then if you use J or if you use L, you can tilt your camera just like this. What I'm gonna do, since we stayed within the same time frame because we ended up playing the camera path from the cursor position is I'm going to make another position keyframe and another time keyframe right here but you'll see that the camera is tilted where we're at at this point in the timeline and so when we come back just like this you can see that the camera will tilt a little bit to the left and then as it comes back in it's going to center back up and that can really give an extra little bit of flair right here. And so you might be thinking, well, this is all cool, but it doesn't really seem to end in a cool way. Well, what we can do from here is we can unpause once again, give it a couple seconds. And then once we come back down here, we can turn our camera. Maybe we could even tilt it a little bit this way if we wanted to. I'm gonna add a new position in time keyframe. I'm gonna hit unpause once again. I'm going to hit K to center our keyframe. I'll move a little bit back and I'll make another position and time keyframe right here. Let's see what we get. And so our replay mod will curve. It'll come back down in and then when it reaches me, it's going to curve once again so that we can see that we have arrived at our location. And right here at the end of the clip, when you're in Premiere Pro or whatever editing service that you use, this is a great time to do a transition frame. And so now that we have all of our clips in the timeline, what we're gonna do is we're gonna render our camera path. Everything right here is good. And we'll hit render. Depending on how many replay mods you have edited in one bundle, I'll teach you how to bundle in the future. This could take a while. 
we'll place that clip in there. It's actually not necessary to name this clip because once you put all of your clips into replay mod, you can end up putting them together based on their creation date or whatever order you want. But if we double click, we can check out our replay mod time lapse. So that's going to be it for the first episode of our replay mod tutorial series. We're going to have plenty of different sorts of tutorials when it comes to building houses, making different types of cinematics, and giving you all the ins and outs on how to use replay mod the most efficiently that you can.